Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Thanks for watching this video. What I'm going to talk about is a powerful antioxidant called glutathione. Now, we make glutathione in our liver, but as we get older, due to stress, due to diet, maybe autoimmune diseases, we're not going to produce enough. But before I talk about that, if you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below, and next is the bell notification. When I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. If you watch on Facebook, I always appreciate growing an audience. Please hit the like button down below. And again, if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. And thanks for watching. Okay, so let's talk about this powerful antioxidant called glutathione. Now, we make glutathione in our bodies. However, if we have a poor diet, if we're chronically stressed out, if we're on medication, we will deplete the production of it. And the, one of the functions of, as an antioxidant, as our cells work, it produces a byproduct called free radicals. When we build up the free radicals in our body, if it's too much, then it, ta our body ta it takes over our body and we don't feel good. So glutathione, powerful antioxidant, is a sulfur compound. We make it. It's made by L-glutamine, L-cysteine, and glycine through the liver. Now, if you have poor liver health and if you want to supplement, there's two ways we could do it. Either you could take uh, N-acetylcysteine, NAC for short. So N-acetylcysteine is a precursor for glutathione. So what it's going to do is it's going to increase the circulating glutathione in the body already. And the dosage, I always recommend anywhere the dosage between 1,000 milligrams to 1,500 milligrams on an empty stomach because you always want to take amino acids on an empty stomach. It will increase the, the circulating production of glutathione. So what makes you depleted? Chronic stress, poor diet, smoking, autoimmune diseases. It's made from sulfur compounds, so if your diet's low in sulfur foods, you're not going to make enough glutathione. Or environmental toxins. Are you just chronically stressed out? Do you work outside? And so forth and so on. So what are the benefits of glutathione? It's numerous. Glutathione, remember, if you're going to clean out your liver, the liver has over 300 functions, functions throughout the body. So you are going to have increased energy. It's going to slow the aging process. It reduces muscle and joint dysfunction. You know those muscles and joints that just hurt all the time? Well, probably because you have low glutathione. It helps detox the liver and the cells. It helps flush out all the free radicals. So in, in return, it's going to improve skin. You're going to feel better. You're going to have improved uh, improve, uh, immune system function. Yes, you could take N-acetylcysteine, but I always say, look at your food. Look at the diet. Stay away from these inflammatory foods. Wheat, gluten, dairy, soy, and peanuts. Those will deplete the body of anything. So what you want to do is foods. Cruciferous vegetables are loaded in a lot of vitamins. They're loaded in a lot of minerals. And they're loaded in glutathione. Potatoes, melons, grapefruit, and strawberries. These are all essential foods that will help your body not only clean out the free radicals, but also to make, make all those cells just appreciate the good nutrients. But in addition to it, it's going to take care of that liver health. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I'll see you next time. Be good.